two more quick questions okay. if I could. Sure. Um, you said you were working on the Amazing Stories episode, the bomber, yes. right? Right, the oh, mission. The mission. Next, the 24th mission, where the lives of 10 men rest in the power of one. Power position! And now, the impossible is about to happen. Next, a special one-hour episode. Late Ben Lippers, what was that? Amazing story. Where, was, where did they shoot that? Do you remember? Uh, it was shot, it was, shot uh, it was all on stage. It was mm -hmm. stage 28, and then, I want to say 34, I think we shot... I think the interior of the cockpit and stuff was 34, but the exterior of the plane was, was, was 28, the old Phantom of the Opera stage. Now that's Kiefer Sutherland and Kevin Costner, right? Yes. Yes. And Casey Smazko and, mm -hmm. um, and, uh, Jay Cohen. Yeah. So give me some sense of what those guys were like under Sp Spielberg's direction. They're pressed for time on amazing stories, right? They were, was... but Stephen was so efficient in his shooting that, that, there was always kind of time left over. Um, they were very, they were very good. They were very good. I think the only uh, trouble I had was with Kevin Costner's agent because Kevin decided that he liked the bomber jacket he was wearing and wanted to keep it. And so I went to Steven and Steven said, no, we, we have to get it back. And, uh, and she called every day, every day. I mean, several times a day, Kevin really wants that jacket. And I, Kept saying, well, Stephen really doesn't want him to have it. And um, so it, it just, uh, it was never ending. I, I, I don't think he ended up getting the jacket. Was it but, because Stephen wanted it? No, I think Stephen just, he just wanted the wardrobe, you know, in case. Yeah. So, just in case. Yeah. I mean, he was always aware of stuff like that. Who was the agent? Do you remember? Uh, it's probably AJ, someone we know. AJ Harris. No jacket. <laughs> No appearance of Costner in a later Spielberg movie, to my recollection. I wonder if that's. Uh, I wonder if that's related. Well, he did one earlier, a year earlier. He did Fandango, which he, which Amblin produced. Oh um, right, directed by Reynolds. Yes. Yeah. So, but I think nothing after that. And how was how was Sutherland on that? Um, he was good. I mean, he was he was he was good when he needed, needed to be. I mean, you know, he was he was still pretty wild. Um, but but. Uh, you know, he, he well, Keith, stayed in mind for Steven. Fun fact between us, based on what we were talking about, Joel Silver's production office, where Donner's office used to be across the golf cart path yeah. at Warner Brothers. That's where I met Kiefer, and he remains one of the coolest guys I've ever met while working at Warner Brothers, I have to say, right there in that golf cart path. So <clears throat> times have changed. But, uh, I mean, he delivered it ultimately on film. I mean, that's a great episode. Absolutely. Absolutely. And, and he did a great job in Lost Boys, too. I mean, he, yeah. you know, he was pretty consistent. Um, do you remember? The, all right. So that episode and there's one other episode that's like a Hallmark Amazing Story episode where they're shooting. Um, there's a movie production in a swamp. And they're doing a mummy movie. Oh, mummy remember daddy. That? yeah. And they got the they got the actor in the, the yes. full Karloff and he gets the phone call that or the assistant runs up. Your wife's about to, you know, your baby's about to be born. And he shoots to the hospital as the mummy. But it starts this rumor that there's like a raw almond ka loose in the swamp, yeah. <laughs> which is kind of like the story of the mummy's claw. What's the one? What's the mummy movie that takes place in the swamps of New Orleans? There's a movie like th that they did, like in the 40s or 50s. It's either the Mummy's Curse or the Mummy's Claw. Do you remember that? Uh, I never saw it, but but it well, probably was one of the Mummy movies. You're not you're not missing much. Everybody, the hospital empty. Oh, boy, back in five minutes. All right. Oh, a few minutes. I'll see if those fans have just got changed. I'm going to fly home myself. Honey? Honey? What? Honey? Honey? Oh, 
You know this thing? Yes, it's my husband. It's a girl, Harold. Seven pounds, eleven ounces. Oh. She's got your eyes. Look. Uh. Look at that. Oh, no, no, it's a thing. It's a thing. My beautiful baby girl, I love you. The mummy's a daddy. It's just like they say. What? You're never too old. I love you, honey. You're not missing much. But was that Byron James that's in that? The, I don't think so. As I, the redneck? I, Oh, oh! When he says, "Yeah," uh, he mentions redneck. Uh, yeah. I'm not sure if that's by Brian James or not. Yeah, I worked with Brian on uh, Sean's first short film. Uh, yeah, how was called, he? on my honor, and he was he was great. Yeah, he was terrific, um, and very patient with you know an 18 year old kid making his directorial debut. Um, right. But uh, Mummy Daddy uh, was notable because it was directed by William Deere, who ended up doing Harry and the Hendersons, you know, two years later. At Amblin, and uh, uh, yeah, I thought it was a great episode. That and Family yeah. Dog. No, that yeah, the Family Dog's a good one too. And also, where's the one with, with the one with the kid who turns into a magnet or something? Oh, uh, a mutual uh, something attraction. Yeah, um, yeah, that was the. I think that was the second one. That was Bob Z, wasn't it? I think it was Bob. Was it Bob Zemeckis? I can't remember. But anyway, it, might it have was. Been. It was or the Brad second Bird. One it was one of those guys. Okay, we're going back. We're going deep into the tunnel on this one, yeah, <laughs> uh, but that that mummy episode was so funny. I mean, it still holds up too. It's pretty hilarious in the it whole. It really does. It really does. Whole... I, I uh, wish they would re-air those. Your road to redemption is paved with tombstones. No quarter, kill all masters. Go to no quarter, kill all masters dot com. Rated R. 